Hi everyone. Today I thought I'd just share with you a little video on how we created this beautiful chicken house. This was how it looked before and once I'd painted it, this was the end result, which I'm so happy with. My chicken house has arrived. So it's a little bit frosty outside today. So I'm thinking, fingers crossed, we can try and paint inside. I must confess, I would not say that I am the tidiest painter in the world. So we could potentially have a very messy house. Um, so I'm gonna try and sneak it in without my husband seeing it, because I think he'll go crazy if he sees me painting in the house. But... This is exciting. things in here. I think this could potentially be a room. So that looks kind of small enough to be able to get um, painting today. Oh, it opens up. There's two. So wish me luck and I'm going to get paint on. Painting clothes on and I'm gonna use this multi-surface paint. It's a B-Deck multi-surface paint and I used it for the caravan. So I'm gonna do it the same colors so it all looks lovely and we've got the post box that I've painted like the caravan as well. So the first few strokes are going on. What a moment. I should really be wearing some lovely gloves, but unfortunately I can't find any. So um, I'm probably gonna be wearing paint on my hands for the next two weeks, because I can never get this stuff off. So just remember, if there's any areas that you don't want to get paint on, to tape it up. Like this mesh, I don't really want to get paint all over it. So I'll be putting masking tape all over there. First coat is finished, only another three to go. Second coat done, and I've also done the white borders and the red has started going Painting on. inside with two children. Big mistake. Actually, huge mistake. There is paint absolutely everywhere. I just hope it's worth it in the end. Finally, after three days of painting, the house is up. Our lovely gorgeous ladies arrive and we've all completely fallen in love with them. Apparently this house is for up to nine hens but I think our lovely ladies need a little bit more space. So now I need to go about building an extension to make the run a bit bigger. So I'm now trying to make the end of the chicken run extension. This is definitely true love. I'm so sawing a piece of wood in the snow. My feet feel like they're going to fall off because I'm absolutely freezing, but it will be worth it when they get in their new little space. It's going to be magic. This is some serious chicken love. Sitting in the snow, building a chicken run extension. I think um, I've definitely fallen for our new pets. <laughs> And here is the end result, our happy little hen house. I dug in chicken wire all around it, so if the foxes try and burrow under, there's a lovely layer of chicken wire dug into the ground. And I've also put some slabs around it, and these lovely little planters, which at the moment have got some wonderful winter lettuce in them growing. And here are our gorgeous ladies. Say hello, girls. They settled in so well in the first week and started laying us beautiful eggs within the first couple of days. So they must be happy in their new home. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this gives you some inspiration into building and painting your own chicken house. Please remember, subscribe to my channel and you'll be the first to see any new videos that I post.